In this video, we'll be going over the configuration settings within the gear icon. At the top right of the screen, select the gear icon. Within that drop down, there are three tabs. On the first tab is information about your rows and columns. Here, you are able to adjust your dendogram. You can either show it on the summary and detail views, only the summary, or hide it completely. You can also change the dendogram height. At the bottom, you can adjust the label sizing. You can choose its maximum length and where you would like to trim the extra characters from, the beginning, middle, or end. On the next tab is data matrix information. You can change the color or the breakpoints. If the cell value is below or equal to the lower breakpoint value, the cell will have that minimum breakpoint color or if the value is equal or above the maximum breakpoint value, the cell will have that maximum breakpoint color. Also, you can add or remove breakpoints. Under that, there is also a predefined color palette. Missing color is the color used for any missing data from the heat map. In the detail panel, lines are drawn to separate data points where the zoom level permits. If you would prefer that the grid lines not be displayed, uncheck the show option. If you do want grid lines shown, but the current grid color does not contrast well with the colors you selected in your heat map, you can change the color here. You can also change the selection color. This is the color of the square drawn in the heat map, as well as the highlighted color for the labels of selected rows or columns. On the next tab, you have covariate bar information. At the top is a drop down called covariate bar. This drop down menu allows you to select a single covariate bar to configure. There is a special item in this menu called All that will be selected by default. When All is selected, a list of all the covariate bars in the heat map is displayed and you can select which covariates you wish to be displayed and adjust the height of those covariate bars. The checkbox to the left of the show column header can be used to hide or show all of the covariates. If the heat map has lots of covariate bars, the covariate filter can be used to select a subset of covariates. For example, mutation could be applied as a filter to get a list of just the mutation covariates, and then the checkbox next to the show column could be used to hide all of the mutation covariate bars, and the remaining covariates will be displayed. If a specific covariate is selected, the panel will change to look like this. The coloring scheme of the selected covariate can then be modified. At the top is a drop down so that you can select your covariate bar. And under category, you're given the option to change the colors for said categories. There's also a missing color option or the ability to choose a predefined palette. 